this guy today. We're gonna change the pulley on the motor. We got a new hub, new pulley, and uh, we're gonna replace it. All right, Martin, hit that disconnect. That's it, power kill. Power Let's go. Everywhere. Right. Check it out, baby. I'm all the way on top. Woo! Okay. I should have brought another bucket to sit down on. What's happening is the belt's making a lot of noise. We put new sets of belts, still the same issue. So it's because uh, it lost its shape in there. It's all rusted, so we're gonna replace it. Let's see if I can get this belt off with that. Without, uh, yeah, it's still loose. But the new belts, we're gonna have to, wow, look at that, it's iced up. <laughs> the new belt, we're gonna have to uh, bring the motor in. This is not the way to take off the belts, guys. Don't do it like I'm doing, but because the belts are so loose that uh, I'm able to do it right now, but it's not the proper way to do it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray this now. Uh, I know that this uh, pulley is aligned properly because it's the original one and just to save myself time, I'm just going to kind of mark it and see where it is so I don't have to waste time aligning it so that's right there just a little trick so I'm gonna take this off using the drill but I'm not gonna put it back using an impact so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean this little hole here so I can put those uh, boost bolts in there to uh, push the wheel off the hub so we're going to put one here start them off with the finger put them in slowly and uh, the next one right here kind of want to do them evenly Use this. Use 
sure that it goes in nice and easy if, if, uh, if you're struggling for it to go in if it's too difficult don't don't force it in there you don't want to do that oh stunning I fell down <laughs> hold on look at it it should go in nice and easy if they don't go in nice and easy then you're cross threading them. You don't want to. You don't want to do that. You want to bring them in nice and easy. Okay. I'm gonna use a a regular uh, socket and a drive because uh, I don't like to use impact tools on it. Okay. I've cracked the heads off of them using the impact. This way I can feel what's going on. It just makes it just safer for me I feel better about doing it that way I'm not saying you can't use an impact I just don't use it I don't like to Socket. again I, I use this because you just have a feel of what's going on get a little turn Stop there. Do the same with this one. And these are supposed to be torqued. Depends on what size wheel and what size uh, screws you're using. I believe this one is 28 foot pounds. Not sure. I have to check the paper in the truck. And uh. We'll get a torque on it later. If my torque wrench is in the truck, should be in there. <laughs> they should be torqued. They're supposed to be. Do every, does everybody do it? Eh, I don't think so. I'm guilty of it. I don't always torque it either. <laughs> now, if you use an impact, you just keep going. You have no feel of what's going on. Snap it like I do. Yeah, snap it. We snapped it before. 
10 years ago when I first started out, I used to snap them left and right. Boom, boom. <laughs> Yeah, and you don't want to use a half inch ratchet either because they'll snap these babies. Sometimes I'll even go with a quarter inch. Because obviously the longer it is, the more torque you'll have too, so. Click, 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 click. There goes my torque wrench. <laughs> click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. It's torqued. Click, 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 click. Okay. <laughs> nah, we're, seriously, we're just joking. We're, you should talk them. We want to get them talked. Okay, so that's that. Then we're gonna we'll get the belts, put them on, and uh, see what happens. Clean up, uh, brush uh, the flywheel a little bit. My things brushing it down. Just clean up a little bit. Just brush it and just spin the wheel. And then we'll put the belts on. Go away, man. Go see, away, man. Yeah, you see all that water leaking? What is that leaking? Is it From the up? blower, look. Yeah, that's... It's gonna start rusting everything out. Yo, this thing is not moving, bro. Let me see. Hey. It's these things right here. We got tied up. Did it move? I'm gonna look right now. Me and Pat broke this rod, bro. We just changed it. You did? Yeah. When? A while back. It's that back that, that gets stuck, man. It's moving a little bit. Is it? Yeah. Oh, let me get it. It's getting stuck on the other side. Did we use the pry bar last time? I don't think so, no. Remember last time I just popped at a certain point? And it like went back. There it there goes. It is. There See? he is. I told you it was gonna pop, so. Now it's smooth operation. Remember the belts were slipping? Yeah. I guess he got stuck again. Uh, I don't see anything that's good. I'm gonna shake it around. Yeah, look, it's fading says, yeah? Yeah. The motor mount is crooked. Yeah, because you're only pushing one side. Yeah. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you remember last time you did that when it was running? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, can you this back up? See how bad it vibrates. Let me lock this. Okay. All right. right now, this thing is set for above eighty. 85, 80 actually, the tower will come on. So if I lower this, I go below the set temperature. It's shaky. That's why we need the VFD on this. Stay back. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Yeah, it was really loud before. This thing was so loud because of the... I should have turned it on for you guys to hear it. Because of the pulley. 
it, the belt was slipping because it lost its groove, the V shape. Okay, yo, Martin, take the meters, go take an amperage reading. Just make sure that we're not too high up. Put it, you know where the amps is? Be careful. Put it on that right there and just take an amperage reading. We're looking good, guys. We have a VFD on this guy. Open up that panel, right there. Alright, we're looking good. So bring the temperature back up. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I'm above the, I'm above the temperature, whatever the water temperature is. Uh, yeah, I think this thing is like a hundred something rated. I don't remember, I, the tag is lost. And we're gonna leave it at that. And uh, we're gonna close it up. We're going to thank you guys for watching and being part of this uh, YouTube channel. Okay, oh, let me get the drill. Put some screws in there. This, uh, this, uh, line up your hole right there. I got there. it. Don't, don't tell me you can't find a hole, bro. Uh, Rose is going to be mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Martin, man, say hello, man. Say thanks for Yo, watching. Yo, take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>